Hey everyone. So we've got a couple new things going on today. First, uh, we've got a new camera that's giving me a hard time, so hopefully this will turn out okay. Uh, second is we have some TSA Travel Sentry uh, locks, which are what the TSA insists that if you're flying in the U.S., uh, you have to use to secure your luggage. Um, these things are not very good. They come in a couple different styles. You can get them as combination locks, as key pad locks, in slightly different sizes, uh, but none of them are exactly secure. So we'll start off looking at the uh, keyed padlock. This one, you know, pretty simple, works like any other padlock, but uh, it's a master keyed padlock. It does use a pin tumbler mechanism, but uh, they just have some very small master keying wafers in there to allow them to use a single uh, override key on them. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our small tension wrench here and a, uh, this is a Bogota style uh, jiggler tool. Just going to put very light tension on there, stick this in and push and usually that will cause it to pop open. There we go. So, open in just a couple seconds. And now I can lock it back up. And look at that. No evidence that uh, I've picked this. There's no serious damage to the outside or anything else, and if something goes missing from your luggage, well, who knows, maybe it was someone with a key, maybe it was me sneaking around the uh, luggage areas with my pick tools. Not that I would, but, you know, bad guys. Uh, now we've got a word lock. This is a four-wheel combination lock. Really their big uh, trick is that they've replaced the traditional numbers with letters. So you can spell out words, uh, hopefully making it easier for you to remember. So if we dial in the combination, shackle lifts up and you can remove it. So how do you uh, how do you master key a combination lock? Well, if you flip it over, it has a keyway on here stamp TSA002, that's the uh, number for the override key. Pretty wide open keyway, and I'm not sure if the light will catch it, but this is a wafer lock. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this wishbone tool, seat it in there, apply some light tension, and that same uh, jiggler tool that I showed you a minute ago, we're going to put it in there and just work it around a bit and look at that. I've got an open. Now that it's open, this little plastic collar right here, on this model it's plastic, on others it's metal, uh, but it rotates out of the way and now the shackle rotates out of the seat and the TSA agent or baggage handler or whoever uh, can get into your luggage. In a word, secure. Yeah. Uh, now we have this master lock, combination lock, three wheel combination lock. Mechanism works exactly the same way as the one I just showed you, but we're going to lock it up now. There we go. So secure. This one, slightly higher quality because it actually has a metal uh, plug cylinder, but it's still. Uh, key to that TSA002 override key. Same keyway, same bidding, all that. And we're just going to go in there. This one's brand new, so it may fight us a little bit more. Now just look at how much that rotates. Yeah, that's not a good sign. 
really. Build quality. There we go. A little bit longer, but same deal. This little uh, metal collar with the cutout here rotates around, and the shackle is free to move. And we can just lock it back up. Sometimes the master lock uh, locks like to actually lock themselves in the open position if you don't have a key in there. So you need to coax it back in with your pick tool. But again, there's no clear indication uh, that it's been opened, aside from anything that I may have that uh, the bad guy may have done while he was in there. They do have uh, locks like these that are supposed to have a little indicator to show whether or not it has been opened, but as far as I've seen, those indicators don't actually aren't able to differentiate between being opened by an authorized key, which, you know, is at least something, versus being picked open, because it really just records whether or not that uh, that override cylinder has turned. So, uh, how do you secure your luggage against theft? Unfortunately, uh, with the, the way the TSA rules work these days, if you're flying unless you're flying with uh, something that gets you a special exemption, like a firearm or something, uh, you are required to use these locks as flimsy and uh, insecure as they are. And these days, lots of people uh, have copies of these TSA locks. In fact, photographs of the TSA override keys were published recently uh, as part of a news article on this program. So I would expect that pretty soon a lot of uh, less less friendly people are going to have those keys. So stay safe, stay legal, and happy pecking.